Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's know how. Here I am Ranjani Priya, going to teach you CBSE 10 standard maths. Here friends, we just know what is real numbers. Friends, just study to know how. Don't study for marks because we should know the concepts as well as score marks. Don't mug up the answers and get marks. Please understand the concepts. Here I going to cover the concept, all of the concepts. I will not leave any concept, any single sum. I will clearly explain what are the concepts of real numbers and each by each step the example exercise at all okay friends let's recall what about numbers we already studied in 9th standard max natural numbers whole numbers integer irrational rational numbers we are well in it yes natural numbers or it's natural how we are naturally count the numbers 1 2 3 etc and eh, no? so only natural numbers are started from 1 2 3 and continue it up to infinity whole numbers in the word itself there is whole whole means it's a zero it adding zero the natural number becomes whole numbers so the whole numbers are started from 0 1 2 3 integers integers are having the minus part also in integers integers means in depth so in in integers the minus part will come so the minus and uh, that is the negative parts 0 the positive part put together makes integers rational numbers we already know that rational numbers which are the fractions uh, also call it as a ratio or all the rational numbers irrational irrational numbers the numbers which are not to be a rational that is we cannot write the numbers as a rational that is fraction those are called irrational numbers uh, let's come to the real numbers part a real number is a combination of that that are the or the collection of rational or irrational numbers or the real numbers we denote it is uh, as or capital or there is not the meaning only the rational number or uh, an irrational number or the real numbers the all numbers included uh, natural whole integer rational all the numbers uh, irrational all the numbers becomes the real numbers okay i hope you understand this let's move on to the next topic in this chapter 10th real real number chapter 1 the main concept is how we divide the integer the divisibility sorry some spelling mistake is there divisibility of integers here we divide the integers by two methods one is equals division method and fundamental theorem of arithmetic in eclipse division method we use this to compute the hcf of given to positive integers but in fundamental uh, theorem of arithmetic it, it's used to prove the irrationality of the numbers and also used to explore exactly the decimal expansion of a rational number is terminating or repeating friends we use this for irrationality how, what is the how is the number is irrational number to prove this 
we use this fundamental theorem of arithmetic and also to define the rational number where it is terminating or repeating the exact decimal expansion to get the exact decimal expansion we use this fundamental theorem of arithmetic ठीक है फ्रेंड्स एक्लिट्स डिविशन लेम्हा व्हाट इज मेन बाय लेम्हा लेम्हा इज अ प्रूवन स्टेटमेंट यूज्ड टू प्रूविंग अनदर स्टेटमेंट दैट इज लेम्हा इज अ ऑलरेडी प्रूव्ड अ स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू सॉल्व और प्रूव अनदर स्टेटमेंट इज कॉल्ड लेम्हा Friends, we all already studied in 9th standard as reminder theorem. When we divide the dividend, that is 17 is a dividend by the divisor 6, we get uh, 2 as a co quotient, 2 times 6 or 12. When we subtract this 12 from 17, we get 5 as a reminder. We already know this always the reminder friends please note this always the reminder should be less than the divisor because if it it is 6 then it 13 times 6 make the coefficient sorry 3 times 6 18 make the quotient will be blessed and the reminder get 0 so always the reminder less than the divisor please note this this is important that is our reminder theorem hai na? dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus reminder this will be written as like this a is equal to b q plus r where r is in between 0 to b this is the theorem equilibrium division lemma given positive integers a and b there exist unique integers q and r which satisfying a is equal to bq plus r or 0 less than or equal to r less than b that is given positive integers a and b a and b there exist unique integers they give the uh, unique integers which satisfying this formula a is equal to bq plus r where r is less than or equal to 0 and less than b take a friends uh, algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve a problem there will be a written steps to understand the process or procedure to solve a problem H highest common factor you already studied these in lawyer classes um, largest positive integer which divides the given positive integer is called HCF HCF of those integers okay to understand this clearly we going to see an example to find HCF of 4, 55 and 42 using Eclipse Lemma. Okay. What is our Eclipse Lemma? A is equal to BQ plus R where R is in between 0 less than B. Take First of all, you find which is greater number? 4, 55. So, let fix it 455 is a a and 42 is b let's a what is our a okay here uh, a is equal to bq plus r t what is our a 455 is equal to what is our b 42 how many times the 42 is in 455 it's 10 times so 42 into 10 420 subtract this 420 
from 455 we get 35 as a reminder again here we will not get the reminder as 0 so until we get reminder 0 we continue the process so here compare 42 and 35 35 is less than 42 because the reminder or always less than the B so take it B as the A 42 is equal to remainder as B 35 how many times 35 is in 42 one time 35 into 1 35 subtract this 35 from 42 we get 7 as a reminder again the reminder is not equal to 0 hence come continue the process 35 is equal to that is uh, B becomes A 35 is equal to the reminder becomes B 7 how many times 7 is in the 35 5 times 5 7 5 is 35 35 minus 35 becomes 0 finally we get the remainder is 0 in this stage where we get the remainder as 0 the device divisor the stage where we get remainder as 0 the divisor become the HCF of given two positive integers that is 7 is the HCF of 455 and 442.